Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imo and on this channel I talk about building your cake business, I share tips on entrepreneurship, I talk about personal development and I do story time and vlogs as well. You are most welcome. I am really excited. I don't know if you can see, maybe because I'm just trying to be tush. <laughs> But I am really excited because we just hit 500 subscribers on my channel and I am so, so grateful. Thank you so much for making this happen for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing with your friends. Thank you to all that helped me build the channel up to this point. You know we are heading somewhere. Do not keep this channel to yourself keep spreading the word keep telling people about the channel so i'm going to use this opportunity to tell you or to teach you or to share about the power of consistency not just in building a youtube channel but in building a personal and a business brand so if this is something you are interested in then you definitely want to stick around as we get right into the video Thank you so much for sticking around and you're welcome back. So I'll be sharing about the power of consistency, like I said. So over the years, I've had the opportunity to speak with many entrepreneurs. Like when I mean many, I mean many entrepreneurs. It's not just the word because I get to interact with bakers on a daily. And I know that one of the questions on their minds is how do I grow my followers? especially on Instagram. So I get that question a lot. How do I get my followers on Instagram? They don't seem to be growing. I have more people on following me than people following me. How do I go about it? How did you build those? In fact, some weeks back, one of my um, family members asked me, how did, excuse me, ma, ex let me see how he said it. Excuse me, ma, how did you grow your followers to 40K? And I stood and I smiled. I said, <sighs> It's not something that I can um, explain in five minutes, but let me just tell you what you need to know. So you need to be consistent. I think that was the first thing I said. I can't really remember now, but I know I told him that you need to be consistent. You need to be there showing up every time. You need to be doing something um, extraordinary. Extraordinary in the sense that if you want to blow, like if you want to really grow in just such a short time, you need to be doing something that is not, that is out of the norm. Okay, something that is not normal, perceived as normal, like posting maybe five times a day or four times a day or showing a very, very unique or particular skill that is not common to everybody. You have to be doing something spectacular. You have to be doing something extraordinary for your followers to blow in such a, a long time. But I also told him that, look, I've been on Instagram for a very long time. I've been on Instagram since 2015. So it's not like um, I just blew up overnight. It's something that I've done over the years, 2015 till now. How many years is that calculated? So I've been on Instagram and I've been putting out content consistent, consistently. For myself, I don't know, a few days now, for some few days now, all that's just been ringing in my mind is you're the queen of consistency. Call yourself the queen of consistency. And I won't be wrong, fam, if I call myself that because I am very consistent. I remember my husband was telling me, I know that if you put your mind to something, <laughs> you will go for it and you will get it done. So I have been very consistent with working, building my Instagram followers or building my Instagram page because that is where I do my business. I sell my cakes on Instagram. I have an online presence there and I get my customers, most of my customers from Instagram would then refer me to other people when they taste my sweets and quality cakes, of course. So they refer me to other people. So I've been there. And another thing I told him was share, do something that is valuable, like give value to your followers, give value to people. And I keep saying this, don't say you don't know what to share. Don't say, oh, what do I even know that I want to share? Is it how to write an ebook? It's simple now. Everybody knows how to write an ebook. No, not everybody knows how to write an ebook. So stop putting down or underestimating the power of what you know and sharing it with the world. So you need to be there sharing something of value. Like when I started on Instagram, I was on Twitter before then, but like I've always shared the story. I heard there is a new, whatever, there's a new app or there's some something called, let me put it there. I just, I just heard that there is Instagram, you know, there's an app called Instagram and I left Twitter and I came to Instagram. I did not know anything. I did not know anybody. I did not even know how to use the app. All I just knew was that they said you can upload pictures, they'll be good for your cake pictures, and that was how, what I started doing. So I came, 
I saw that it had an option for me to connect with my friends from Facebook. I connected with my friends from Facebook and then I started posting. I put my put up my first post on Instagram, which is this, for God so loved the world. I put it on there, okay, for everybody to know that, oh, this is who I am. I am not ashamed of who I am. So this is who I am. This is what I want to be as my first post. And I am here on Instagram now to start sharing my cake pictures. So I started putting up my cake pictures. I got all my old pictures from Facebook and I started uploading them. They were dark. They were old pictures like this. They were not appealing. But I did not care. I did not even know. I did not even know that anything mattered then. You know, they were... I was just growing growing up and starting out then. Growing my business and starting then. And I just felt, okay, I can upload my pictures here. Let me do it so that people will see me and get to know me. So I told him that you need to be doing sharing value giving value to your followers giving value to your audience so as after some time I started understanding how it works I listened to a few people and then I started teaching as well I started sharing things that have to do with cake business cake business is my core that's why you really don't see I don't do baking on this channel I do strictly cake business on my channel because that is my core I just have that gift I've never been to a business school where I learned how to run a cake business but I know that there are certain things that I need to do if I want this cake business to grow. And then for social media, I started teaching people these things. I started telling them about customer service. I started uh, motivating them. I can motivate you. Yeah, I can tell you stories to motivate you. I can tell you stories to inspire you. I figured that I could use my writing skills and my motivational skills to you know, encourage people to keep on going. I was growing then. I really did not know as much as I know now. But to me, I felt that I knew something that other people did not know and I needed to share with the world. So I was always there sharing at some point. I was only posting during 8 o'clock at night, 8 p.m. Nigerian time, because that was when my insights showed me that my followers were really active online. So I would wait till 8 o'clock and then I would post my pictures. But then I got to understand that it's not just your followers are all spread all over. You know, they are all over the world and they, they are different, you know. Because of different time zones you always have people online you always have people so like when you're sleeping there are people that are awake and they will be able to see your content so I started posting during the day and I started posting in the afternoon and then at night I took it upon myself to post it post on my Instagram page morning afternoon and night and then I kept at it for years, I kept doing that. I also introduced a weekly live series called The Baker to Baker with Oluchi Show on my Instagram channel. And I was teaching things. I was teaching content, uh, things about content creation. I was, I put up, that was, those were the days when after 24 hours, your Instagram live session would just disappear. And so I couldn't save those videos. I don't, I don't think I have maybe just one or two, but I really couldn't save them. And what I was teaching every week every blessed week for those that know me on instagram and have been following me for a while you can attest to this i was teaching i was consistent with this so you have to be doing it now i'm saying every so that you understand the power of consistency i did not just grow my followers overnight there were things i was doing things like posting consistently posting consistently three times a day doing my instagram live sessions three times a day and this helps quite a number of bakers and then i got to know that got to know me so i was focused on building my klc my know like and trust factors i wanted people to know me i wanted people to know my brand know me know my brand know that i am the person behind the brand i am the face behind the brand so like me that like is important people will say people people can just tell you that oh it's not important people can just buy from anyone it's true but there is much more power when people like you when they have an emotional connection with you look there's somebody that's when someone very popular whose account was taken down i don't even know the background story but i know this, his account was taken down and his fans came all out for him begging i don't know how they were able to do it and got his page restored and under 24 hours i'm not checked again but under 24 hours he blew like he got over on a new account not that the old one was restored he, he came back on a new account and got over 500 followers i'm sure it must have hit one million now because on the day i saw that that was the following day that was 24 hours the following day after he got that page he was at 820 something thousand followers so 820 something gay followers i'm sure they had a goal they had a goal and they had a target that's another thing i'm going to be talking about very soon so he had a goal and a target and he was able to smash that and that is because people like him let me even say 
people love him so they were willing to do anything for him they were posting on their stories they were going all out encouraging other people to you know follow him and that is the power of you having fans people that like you and then the trust part is also important that people trust you that they know that when you open your mouth to speak you're speaking the truth that when you open your mouth to speak you actually know what you're saying that you are an authority in your field and that when you say you will deliver you deliver so i started with that and then i started hosting classes little by little and then people were signing up so i have been consistently building my brand over time over the years so it is something you want to consider doing it will take you a lot of time it will take you a lot of time i must say so the earlier you started doing it the better for you don't wait and don't be thinking don't say how am i going to start where am i going to start from i don't have anything to post i don't have this i don't have that i will usually say if you're looking for excuses look there are a thousand and one excuses for you not to start doing what you're supposed to do so Quit giving those excuses. Find a way. Where there is a will, there is always a way. And then you have to be consistent with doing what you're doing. Find a routine that works for you. If it is posting three times a day that work for you, fine. How did I end up posting to three? How did I end up posting three times a day? Even as a young or growing brand then, I was repurposing my content. I didn't even know. It's not even repurposing content per se. I was repeating my posts. I did not care that they were old posts and then people would have seen them. No, I was getting new followers. So there was a high probability that those that were joining me, that were just new to my um, page, had not seen those old pictures. But I wasn't even thinking of that then. I was just posting. I would post and tell another story. I'm a storyteller. I love telling stories. I love sharing stories. So I would, be, I would just put up that post that I had posted before tell a new story with it or share something educational or share something that is related to cake business i was using them over and over and over again not that i was spamming people or bugging them but once in a while i would get a post that i posted like a month ago i would bring it up again until i started growing and i started getting orders you can do that there is nothing wrong in doing that if you like when you have grown your page you can archive those posts or you can delete them but better archive it's better to have them in the archives so just put them there and then just leave them there but do what you can with the power of consistency to, to grow your brand so i was telling stories and people love to read the stories till today till today you can check my instagram page i'm on instagram as i pay signatures i still write stories that people read and one thing about my stories is that they are really usually long but i was surprised way then that way back then that people use even up till today people still read as lengthy as the stories are people still read Back in the day, I used to do fiction and non-fiction as well. I write it on my page, put it, and then people would read. They would read till the end. People found them interesting because I write in a way that, like, it just gets you hooked and you will be reading. So find what you are good at. How did I come about my storytelling? I am a writer. So I figured that, oh, I can make this, I can carve a niche for myself with storytelling. I can carve a niche for myself with sharing my experiences, my cake business experiences, my cake baking experiences, I can share it with the world and then people will learn from it. Always there are underlying lessons. When you read, there are lessons for you to learn. I can share tips and tell it in form of a story. And that was how I was able to carve the niche in the Nigerian baking industry as a storyteller. You can go on my page, you're going to see tons and tons and tons of interesting, wonderful and insightful stories. So please do well to check me out on Instagram and follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Now for my YouTube channel, I've shared the story on how I started my YouTube channel. If you've not watched it, it's the first video, please scroll down or I might link it here or in the description so that you can check out that video. I was supposed to have started in 2017, but I could not start there because <laughs> I really did not understand how it works. I thought that, oh, when I start making videos, I'll start, I'll just get, like the word they, they use now, the word is monetized. I thought that if I just start putting videos on YouTube, I would get monetized in a flash and then money will start falling, you know, there'll be the money rain, <laughs> but it wasn't like that. And I didn't have enough content or something. I can't even remember why I didn't go further then. Yes, I agreed with someone that would shoot videos, you know, make a lot of videos, bulk you know shoot these videos and then put them but something happened to his file and all the videos that we shot got lost but and so i couldn't just go ahead with that but i found that that during the lockdown last year 
I we were watching uh, some some YouTube channels. We were you know at home while I was baking from home, working from home. We were also watching some YouTube channels, and then I saw some families. I saw some channels. Came across people that were passionate, like they were just doing what they loved. They were living their best lives. Some of them were like daily chat, like daily vlogs that. You know people that vlog daily so i was so inspired that look these people are just living their best lives enjoying traveling doing stuff telling us things about their lives and getting paid for it you know so i was really inspired that i have a story to share i have a story of where i'm coming from of how i've been able to build my brand to become a respectable and known brand in nigeria even across the world yes across the world i have a story to share I can do this on YouTube and I love to teach. That's another thing. I love to teach. I love the camera. So why don't you just start up your YouTube channel? And so I started my YouTube channel on the 19th of September 2020 and I started posting. So I told myself, I did a lot of research before I came, before I started my channel. So I watched a lot of people, how to start a YouTube channel, what you should know, what you should do, looked at the patterns, you know, there will be advice, tons and tons of advice things that you can do, things you should not do, and all that. So I did my ground study very well. It was not like YouTube where I just appeared and then I started learning on the go. On YouTube, yes, I'm still learning here on the go, but I did, a, I did, I studied it. <laughs> like I was preparing for an exam. I was watching videos. I was watching videos before I launched my channel. Finally, I got myself a phone. I wanted to get a camera, but I finally settled for a phone. And then I started my channel and I told myself, okay, I will be posting three times daily. No, three times weekly on my channel, I beg your pardon. I'll be posting on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now, that schedule is kind of toppled, but I still make sure that I post every week. But then, I said, okay, I'll be posting three times a week, and I stuck to it. Mondays, Wednesdays, Friday. That's why I have a lot of videos on my channel. I will be posting so that people will get to it. People will get to know me. People will get to see me because I have value to share. I have things to teach you. I have a lot of things that will benefit you. So that is how I have been consistent with my YouTube channel. Posting on every Monday, Wednesday, Friday up until recently. But I still put out my videos at least twice or thrice every week like i said it's toppled now but i will sure find the routine again so find a routine and know what works for you and as i'm building my business brand i'm also building my personal brand on being on youtube here help is helping me build my personal brand okay it's helping me build my personal brand so that's something you want to do but i'm trying to in all let you know the power of consistency and commitment look you have to put your mind to it if you put your mind to it, it's quicker for you to achieve your goal. Now, I just hit 500k subscribers yesterday. I had this goal. I wrote it down in my journal. If I can lay my hands on my journal, I will share with you. Or where I wrote it that I would hit 500 subscribers by Wednesday. So, looking to hit 500, 500 subs. So, I was pretty much determined and I set that as a goal that by Wednesday, which was yesterday, I was going to hit 500 subscribers. And I said this over and over again when you want to set goals sell set goals in bite size okay set them in little bite sizes okay there was one i even said before the 31st i said i was going to hit 400 yes before the 31st of december i gave my help myself a goal of hitting 400 subscribers which i did so between that time and now i've been able to grow my followers to 500 oh grow my subscribers i beg your pardon to 500 so set these goals and put your mind to it when i was growing my instagram followers as well i remember setting a goal of hitting 3,000 subscribers by that month and i think it was june or july of that year i can't remember that the year in particular but i set that goal and i put it on my page so that the world will see and that the world will know that <laughs> i am very determined to do this so i had hit 1,000 hit 2,000 and i was growing and i said by the month by this month and my follower my followers on instagram will be hitting 3,000 and i went to work and you're not just sit there waiting for it to happen. So when you set goals, they are just goals. If you don't work towards do if you don't work towards achieving them, you are most not likely going to achieve that goal. So I went about you know trying to comment on people's pages, offering answers. Throughout that week, there were there, there were opportunities for me to answer questions. Bakers asking questions, so I would ask answer questions. I was active on live sessions. I was just doing things about out there. I was doing my own Instagram live sessions. I was putting out tips on my page. So I was working, working, working towards it on the 
31st of that month, I think it was a 30 it was a month that had 31 days so it was almost midnight and i was like hey god how, how, how am i going to really hit the 3000 subscribers and i was still doing what i was doing i was commenting liking people's pictures doing things and around 10 just before 11 12 midnight i hit 3,000 followers on Instagram and I was really very happy. I remember someone sending me a DM and saying thank God you were able to reach your goal. So please learn to set little goals and tell yourself, okay, this is January. By February 1st, I want to be this number of followers on Instagram. I want to have this number of subscribers. I want to have it helps you in the way that it pushes you towards achieving that goal. So you will keep going and you keep going. You 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 know that oh I have a target. So you will work and do things towards reaching that goal. So for my YouTube channel, when I said okay, I'm going to hit 500 subscribers by Wednesday, I did not just sit down and fold my hands and expect subscribers to fall from from the skies onto my channel no i did a video and then i was telling people even when i saw that oh it's looking like this thing has stalled because where you want to hit that your goal it will look as if you're stuck so i was stuck on 482 for like hours for a day plus i was stuck on 482 i went to my instagram page i was like i'm going to tell my followers to get them to subscribe at least one two persons will subscribe from here and i will be able to hit my goal but as i was uploading that post I checked my YouTube channel and I saw that I had already hit 500 subscribers. So make those goals, set those goals in bite sizes and then work towards them. For example, I want to grow my Instagram followers. I want to grow my Instagram followers to 500. Maybe you're at 100 or you're at 500, you want to grow them to 1,000 or 1,500. It is not impossible. Put strategies in place. Say, oh, I'm going to go live on my channel every day for two weeks every day for one week i'm going to post three times a day on my channel on my on my page sorry i'm mixing them up because i'm talking about the two so i'm going to post every day three times on my channel for two weeks for one week i don't know what i'm going to post right now but i'm going to find these things to post when you have that goal and when you have that target it will motivate you it will inspire you to work and as you're doing this your business is also growing your brand is getting visible on instagram instagram rewards consistency as well as youtube youtube rewards consistency as as you're building as you're growing so if you get people to follow to watch your videos you're you know constantly putting videos and when i mean consistency i don't mean or consistently i don't mean you posting once a week and then disappearing into thing and no or making say i'm going to post once every three days that is not consistency it would not work so you have to do something that is really really um that really shows that you're putting in the work and you're doing it you're doing the work i believe that these tips have been able to help you thank you so so much for helping me hit 500 subs on youtube i believe that you're going to run with these tips the few things i've shared and you'll be able to build your brand Please do not forget to send your questions in the comments box and I'll be willing to answer them. Tell me where, what, what, what platform are you on and how are you looking or what will you be doing to grow your followers. See you in the next video. Stay blessed, stay happy.